So I, I call conversations vocal art, right? Yeah. So most people don't remember you. They remember the art that was created with you. And mm. it's like a gallery they have. Yeah. So every conversation you, you and I have had, there's an imaginary gallery that when we're getting ready to see one another again, we kind of walk through yeah. and remember these conversations. Makes sense. And it's a gallery, yet that's the public gallery. Hmm. It's a gallery you share yeah. with people. Yet there's this private gallery that is vitally important and crucial and critical to what you do publicly. Because hmm. you cannot do publicly what is not supported privately. Wow. Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your button. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket, because I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry, because it's time for the Daily Bread. All right, what's up guys? Happy Friday. Hope you enjoyed this episode. A bunch of good stuff on it. A great podcast with Jonathan Parker. Uh, he's coming right off of his first TEDx talk this past Friday and uh, talking about the art of the conversation. I didn't really, didn't even realize until we got halfway through it just how important this art of the conversation idea really is and how much conversation plays into every part of everything that we do. Uh, so it was pretty eye-opening. We've had some great conversations since. And, and so I think that you will get a lot out of that podcast. Also, another podcast with a guy named Henry Kaminsky, uh, The Brand Doctor, and really enjoyed that conversation as well. Two very different style podcasts. Uh, one of them was on mine, then I was on uh, The Brand Doctor uh, podcast. Uh, but a lot of value that I think you're going to get out of it. Uh, other than that, the rest of this week, you guys have seen a ton of content from the trip uh, out to LA. Uh, well, we've been back since Monday night, gotten a bunch of stuff done, just busy work type stuff, meetings and phone calls and emails and all the stuff that goes into um, selling tons of life insurance and running a life insurance company. So uh, I've got all that done. The good news is, and this is actually really important that you hear this and see this, is that I'm about to leave in 30 minutes. It's uh, three o'clock right now, so we can try to get out of here by 3.30 and head to the beach with my wife. I was just home, uh, met my wife at home to take our daughter to her 18 month, uh, she's 19 months, but it's her 18 month doctor appointment. My wife is like, man, it's supposed to be 80 degrees tomorrow. We should go to the beach. I'm like, let's go to the beach. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah, well, I mean, why not? It's like three and a half hour drive. I'm like, let's find the best resort that we can find uh, in Charleston, South Carolina. And let's, let's, let's do it. Like, why not? We have no reason not to. So uh, I'm excited about that. We're going to go down there here in a little bit, uh, have all day at the beach pool tomorrow, and then come back uh, Sunday before I head back on the road Sunday night down to Georgia. So I hope you enjoy uh, the information in this episode. As always, make sure that you've subscribed on YouTube. Make sure that you've subscribed to the Breadwinner podcast on iTunes and leave us a review. Let us know what you think about all this stuff that we got going on. It means the world to us. I have an amazing guest today. His name is Tyler Harris from the TylerHarrisPage.com. What's going on, dude? <laughs> What's up, man? I'm glad to be here. How are you? Dude, I'm, I was fired up for this episode now for like a week. Yes, <laughs> that's awesome. I know we have a lot of, uh, uh, of the same peeps in our network, and I was like, why have I not had this guy on the podcast yet? <laughs> It happens so often. It's so funny. These uh, these circles get smaller and smaller and smaller. And as you kind of infiltrate them, you realize like all these people, they're so like minded. And it's so uh, it's 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 almost like each conversation is like a continuation from the other conversations. So I absolutely love it. And that, that's definitely good company that you're in. That's for yeah, sure. for sure. You know, I'm a big believer of when you surround yourself with the right people, the right things happened. Absolutely. And, you know, Sean Whalen, Kobe K, yeah. uh, Andy Frisella, you know, these, these guys that are in this circle is just, you know, they got a, they got a strong voice and, yeah. and, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I resonate with it because, you know, I, I, I agree with their values. I, I, I align with them. And uh, so anyway, 
<laughs> I want to get down to it, man. The one thing I notice you say a lot is I'm trying to. And I just want to, I want to say, I want to just get this out here because this is bugging me. <laughs> You're not trying, dude. You yeah. are doing it. <laughs> like, I just want to, I just want to get that off my chest. <laughs> sure. sure. Because, and, because and, I, and I appreciate that. <laughs> you it's are just, doing you, it. You get in this, you get in this mindset. Um, every day I wake up and, and it goes, it's ups and downs, but almost every day I wake up and I just think about all the things that we should be doing and all the things that we could be doing in all these different areas. I mean, there's always so much more that can be done. And that's why, that's why right now we're going all in on this thing because I just know this next three, five years represents the largest land grab and not only attention, but in what that attention will then lead to, which is impact for us. Um, and I just know that. And so we're just trying so hard to go all in and get in and get every element of this message out there and get it out in a way that people can receive the best that it, it never really <laughs> like we're executing 100%, but it feels like we're trying a million different things. I think that's where that probably comes yeah. in, but yeah, but I appreciate that. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. I mean, I like what Andy Frisella said on your podcast interview with him he said listen man i'm just a normal guy who has wrote a whole bunch of shit down that he wanted to do yeah. and did it yep just straight up did it and i, I feel that. like that's all you need to i mean it sounds so simple but like i come to this office every day with three or four tasks that need that must be done and i set that up the night before and yep. I roll with it the next day. And it's like yep. horse blinders on and go. And as long as you guys, you and your team chip away at this, which you guys are, um, that's, that's what's, it, it's going to happen. It's not if, but when. And having that mentality is, is key. Absolutely. And, and I love that, that Andy talks about it that way. And that's why Andy is one of the biggest influences in my life because he keeps it real. Like he talks about the fact that he's been doing this for 17 years. He talks about the fact that the first seven years he made no money, like not a single month where they made over like seven or 800 bucks in a month for like seven years. And I look, I look at that and I think, Holy cow. I don't know if I would ever be able to push through that type of uh, adversity. But that's, those are the messages that people need to hear. They don't need to hear this, hey, you know, get rich in six months with my system. Just let me plug you into this funnel and just email you every day with things to buy and then you'll be successful. They need to hear the true stories of people that just went out and just worked hard for a long period of time and chipped away and chipped away and made it work. Um, that's, that's the message that I love because, you know, with me, just like Andy said, like, there's nothing special. There's nothing special other than the ability to work really, 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 really hard. What's up, everybody? This is Tyler Harris. I am your host of the Bread Winner Podcast. Thank you for being here. Also, thank you to Mr. Jonathan Parker, who is here live in the flesh, in the studio here in Greenville, South Carolina. Excited to bring him on uh, here in just a second. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this like a spoiler alert on the front end. Jonathan is just coming off of a TEDx talk. Um, he's excited about it. I'm excited to hear about it. Um, but the nature of his talk is what will end up being the kind of the framework of this conversation. It sounds even funny just to say. <laughs> <laughs> Once you hear what it is and why that's funny. Uh, but man, thank you so much for being here. Some of you saw him on the daily vlog, the daily bread. Uh, we're going to go a little bit more in depth on that conversation on conversations. Conversation. So man, thank you for thanks being for, here. Thanks for having me. So before we close, what I want to do is, is give people one piece of advice in regards to conversation. It can be the most basic, like first step, and it can be something as simple as like eye contact or 
or something, but what's something tactically that we can give people coming out of this conversation to just start this process of becoming a better communicator? Ask what and how questions rather than why questions. Why questions need to stay in the realm of philosophy, philosophical. Mm -hmm. Why do you get up every day? Mm -hmm. Why does your company exist? Um, um, Why do you believe the way you do? Like, why questions need to be reserved for philosophical conversations. But they are kryptonite. They are damaging. They are almost toxic to relationships, to relational Mm -hmm. conversations. So why questions are great philosophically. They are terribly relationally. Because why questions put people on the defensive or the offensive. That's what I was just thinking, yeah. So if I asked you, why did you do that, Tyler? You're either going to fist up to defend, Mm -hmm. or you're going to go fist out to go on the offense, like, who are you? Yeah. But if I said, hey, Tyler, what led you to that decision? Hmm. Now all of a sudden, you get to share with me. You get to to tell me a story. You get to have a conversation with me that's neither defensive or offensive. So if people just began relationally, and you would be shocked. Just take inventory. How many times you ask somebody why? Mm-hmm. Relationally. Watch how your vocal art changes. Watch how your relationship changes. When you just start swapping out why for what and how relationally, just start there. And mm-hmm. watch your vocal art go to the next level. Watch your connectivity with people go to the next level. Watch relationships that you thought were almost beyond repair start being repaired. Mm-hmm. Because what you're doing with the what and how is you're inviting somebody into your narrative. You're inviting them to exp- to explain what's going on, to help mm-hmm. you understand. So rather than, why are you late again? Mm-hmm. Which you're going to put them on the offense. You mm-hmm. can say, hey, what's going on? You're late every Thursday. So yeah. just tell me, what's going on in life? Well, and all of a sudden, you've given that person the permission, the freedom to tell you something. That's so fascinating. I mean, it's just something that small. Like, I never even thought about that. I mean, just the, now that I'm thinking about it, like the word why, it just sounds confrontational. Right. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> But it can be like something as simple as like, why are we going to this restaurant? Like, well, why wouldn't we go there? Like, what do you? What's what's wrong with the restaurant? Right. <laughs> like, it's, right. it's like that's that's interesting. Versus like, what restaurants did you look at? Right. And, and what led you to, to choose this one? What? Yeah. It's what like stuck oh, out on the menu that helped you choose this. Actually, I like this, and that's right. why we're going there. <laughs> but why, that's so interesting. I never even thought about that. And I could think with like spouses, and oh, yeah. that's probably a big. I'm probably doing a lot of whys. And if you're if you're an employer, <laughs> right? You got people underneath you. Yeah. And you want to see those people go to the next level, don't ask them why questions. Because when you don't ask them why, they won't try to earn your trust, earn your favor. Like They won't try to prescribe authenticity on you. They won't try to make it sound better than it is or worse than it probably was. When you Rather than why, if you're a CEO, COO, if you're over people, use what and how almost unquestionably all the time and watch your team members just rise. Where can they find you? online okay where do you want them to go to and where can they find out more about the art of the conversation so jonathan r parker on linkedin okay i do quite a bit on linkedin art of the conversation or jonathan r parker on linkedin um art of the conversation at gmail.com they can shoot me an email in the process of starting a website okay and the Facebook page is live. It's just art of the conversation okay beginning to start putting content out there uh, in the next couple of days so, yes, yeah, so LinkedIn, Jonathan R. Parker, Art of the Conversation at gmail.com, and then Facebook, Art of the Conversation. What's up, guys? TJ here. I just finished editing up the video. So, I hope you know that this video was originally 45 minutes long because there was so much content from the first podcast, so much content from the second podcast. I wanted to keep all of it, I wanted, or as much of it as I could, but didn't want to bore you guys. But here's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be releasing the full episode this weekend. But in order to see that, you have to sign up to tylerharrispage.com to get that exclusive content, okay? This isn't Tyler pushing it. This isn't selling you something. This is just something so freaking good that like you have to see it. You have to see it. You have to hear it. It will make you a better speaker, a better conversationalist by the time it's done. So Be on the lookout for that. You can get the notification for it by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell down below.